Nicky Hawkins, outside of London Stadium, West Ham Fan TV. I've got my friend Rob with me again. Thanks for coming, good, Rob. Man. Good, I'm good, I'm good. January's coming up, mate. Uh, in a couple of days' time, the transfer window opens, and I just wanted to have a quick chat. I'm going to have a quick chat with all the fan channels that I meet up with about some possible potential transfers for us. Um, I've been hearing in the middle of December that we're interested in Giroud again. We was interested in him in the summer. Uh, 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 Theo Walcott once again, again we yeah. was interested in the summer and a big one that I've been hearing and a big rumour saying Jack Wilshire that might come to yeah. us maybe on loan or on a permanent because he's looking to get back into the England squad and he's not playing at the moment as we speak uh, too often for Arsenal. Now what do you think about selling any of these three guys? I think highly unlikely. Um, the Giroud one I think there's no chance Arsenal would sell or loan Giroud in January. I'll be very surprised. I mean, yes, he hasn't been getting um, as much game time as he probably deserves this season. Um, but then we still got like a lot of games, Europa League and that. And when he has come off the bench, you know, he's been so effective. I mean, he does that all the time, doesn't he? Yeah, but he's been brilliant off the bench. And, you know, they and, and only recently signed him, you know, to a new contract. So Arsenal hold all the cards. So I think there's absolutely no, I, I know he's like, Obviously, it's a World Cup year and he wants to be playing and that, but there's no way Arsenal, I think, would sell Giroud. Unless they got ridiculous money for him, I think there's no way. Or an Obama Yang in, in, in the window? Yeah. <laughs> but we already got. Um, Lacazette? We've got Lacazette. Arsenal don't work like that, man. If we're not Man City or Chelsea where we go and splash it. I'd love that, but it won't happen. I think we'll hold on to Giroud. Walcott. Possible. I, I don't think it would happen. Um, because again, you know, he's, it's, it's, it's the games we've got and, you know, the Europa League and stuff like that. And he's been figuring a lot in that. And also if there's injuries, he can come in, you know what I mean? So, but if, the, if again, if it was a ridiculous offer that came in for him, um, I could see it. But then who's going to, you see, the problem with Theo Walcott, and I think probably as it is time for him to move on from Arsenal, for both sakes it's for Arsenal's sake because he's we're just not seeing the best of him no more and for his sake because he is a he's a good player but I just think he's been at Arsenal too long and he's just you know he's become stale, stale yeah so if he did come here I think he'd be an you think fit in I, yeah I do I think he'd be a great sign he scores a lot see the thing is about Walcott he gets a lot of stick um but he scores a lot of goals he's a very effective player he scores a lot of goals but I just think he needs something he needs a fresh start um but He's on £140,000 a week. Now, is he going to walk away from that? Sort and, of and to come here, he's not going to get that here, is he? He's, you know, so, you got anyone here on that sort of money? I don't yeah, know. Hernandez, he's on 160, I think. Is he? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Right, okay, well, I don't know, maybe, but I. I'm just sorry, sorry. Jeez. It's still a lot of money, though, isn't it? That's a lot of, that's a lot yeah. of you're not paying a lot of money down yeah, here, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, listen, that's, that's going to be the thing with him. The Jack Wilshire thing. Listen, Wilshire has only got six months left on his contract, right? So, you know, and he wants to play football and he's been excellent for Arsenal. I mean, he's been, yeah, he's been working his way back from injury. I can't see that happening, though. If he went here, it would be, for the Arsenal board, the manager, everybody, it would be such an ump because he is, I'd say, one of the most popular players at Arsenal. He's the player that everybody wants to see in the first team on a regular basis. He's a player that's, you know, he's starting to rise to the occasion. I, I, I think he will get more game time um, going into the second half of the season at Arsenal. Again, I, I, if I'm being honest, I'd be very, very surprised. That would be so... That and Giroud. Both, any of those two going right now, before the end of the season, would be very, very unpopular indeed. Well, the thing is as well, Rob, I, I heard this rumour earlier on in the, in the season, and mm. this, is, this is the thing that makes me think there might be a little bit of truth to it. Um, somebody came to me with this rumour saying, we're looking for Jack Wilshere in January. Now, the only thing that could would suit both parties you know what the Arsenal ball are like if they're looking at someone in January and they want to get some money in it's the chance it's the last chance to get some money for yeah, well, him well, that, that's also a vulnerable with Jack Wilshire in the you know suppose if West Ham came in and said he's a West Ham right, boy as well don't forget yeah he's a West Ham boy right he comes he's from Stephen his dad I think he's, someone said his old man used to support West Ham or something but he's Arsenal through and through I think <laughs> what are you looking at like that I'll boy? show you some pictures later mate you, you, you want to bang on about <laughs> Harry Kane and all that he's one of your own Harry Kane, Harry Kane was, used to be an Arsenal fan with ear coloured and that so outside. did Jack Wilshere I'll show no, you some pictures he ain't no that. West Ham fan get off that right now Listen, um, <laughs> he's, he's a wind-up merchant. No, listen, um, 
with the Wilshire thing, are sort of vulnerable because that scares me in the fact that, like, say West Ham came in and said, all right, we'll give you 50 million. You can't turn that down if, if you've got six months, unless you sign Jack Wilshire to a new contract, it'd be hard to turn that down. Would it be, so, would it be hard for him to turn down something like 15 million for him? Because he's, he's not, he's, he's not going to... The thing is, he wants to play... I mean, he's been excellent for Arsenal. Yeah, 15 million, no way. I, I think... It's, it's not worth the, 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 the trouble, is it? Yeah. Some of the money grabbers on the board might be thinking, oh, but I think the fans would <laughs> listen. There'd they, be lynch mobs outside. It, this guy is so popular at Arsenal. I just don't think that, you know, attempting to sell him to West Ham, nah, that, that wouldn't go down well. It would have to be mega money, and then they'd have to be bringing in someone else you know, on the other side, that then fans think, okay, well, fair enough. And I can't think who that could be right now. And um, I, I want Jack Wilshire to stay. You know what I mean? I think the guy, you know, the problem with him is, is injuries. But when he's fit, he's a top quality player. I think for the sake of Arsenal and England, we need to get this guy playing on a regular basis, right? He's good enough, right? If he, if he can get fit from now till the end of the season... Even for England, we could have a decent World Cup because we're lacking creativity and he is creative. He drives into spaces. He does more than for me than what Granit Xhaka does yeah. in Arsenal's team. And for me, they, they, they just cannot afford to sell this guy. And remember, we've still got the problems with Ozil and Alexis. If he goes as well, nah, the fans will be outraged. Yeah. One, one last question, um, just to chuck the cat amongst the pigeons. If you could sign one player from West Ham, Ooh. who would it be? One player from West Ham. Do you know what? Um, got a few decent players still. I mean, Hernand, you know what? Before Hernandez came here, I used to like him. I used to say, I could see him at Arsenal. He's yeah. a poacher. Get the, but then I've been a bit disappointed with what I've seen of him at West Ham so far. I, you know, it's, it's still a bit early, but I like Antonio. Yeah. I like I like um, Mikel Antonio. I think, you know what, he always gives it his all. Um, and I could see him, maybe not as a starter at Arsenal week in, week out, but I think he, he you know. Not like a Lanzini to replace an Ozil? Or? Lanzini, is, yeah, I nearly forgot him. Lanzi, Lanzini is quality, he's absolutely quality. So, yeah. The player I always wanted from here was Paye, but he went and flew, <laughs> messed up. I, I remember the first time when I saw him playing against Arsenal, I was like, yeah, why? How did we not sign that guy? He, he was quality. But He's about three stone overweight now, mate. You're probably getting <laughs> for about five mil. But yeah, Lanzi, yeah, to be fair, Lanzini Lanzini is a quality player. And who's that guy, the right back? Uh, um, What's his name? Uh, Murasaka or something like that. Who's, who was playing? Masawaku. Masawaku. Oh. Is that how he? I, I saw Messi him play, Waku, we call him. I yeah. saw him play against Chelsea. Is that how he plays every week? Yeah, mate. Like, he, yeah, he's he, well, yeah. superb. He'd, he'd be him with a shout. He looks quality. Yeah, yeah. There's some good players there. Anyway, yeah. Rob, All thanks right. for very much for coming down to join us, man. I know it's nice a cold man. night. Um, as I said before, go and subscribe to Rob on Arsenal Fan TV to watch all the content on there. Subscribe to us. Leave this video a thumbs up and uh, come on, you irons.